Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Now before we explore the cat pothole area or the Mao Kong uh, area, please put your paw on the subscribe button. It really does help us grow the channel, so much appreciated. Now the Mao Kong area is called the Mao Kong area due to the potholes that you can find all around the area. And they actually look uh, like big uh, paw imprints from cats. That's why the Mao referring to the cat and the Kong referring uh, to the hole. Now the area is famous for a couple of things. Um, tea, because it used to be the biggest tea growing area of Taipei. Um, the gondola that goes through it, the temples that you can find, um, some hiking opportunities and obviously the zoo. Now we were there in the first instance to explore some of the tea culture. And for that we went to one of the more famous tea houses called Yao Yue Tea House. Um, which you can see here in just a bit. Now the good thing about your yeah. tea house is that it's generally uh, relatively easily, easily reachable. Uh, and on top of that, even if you're hiking around, most of the, well, some of the paths actually just pass by uh, the tea house. Now not only is it easily reachable, the view from the tea house is actually amazing. Um, you can generally sit outside, we couldn't because of the weather. Um, and on top of that, the prices are actually very fair and the tea is amazing. Now obviously, um, drinking tea is an experience and in order to do it in a proper succession, um, the tea house actually provides you with clear instructions on how you should proceed. And it obviously starts with cleaning out all of your different utensils, such as the teapot, um, the let's say intermediate teapot, uh, as well as the cups, which all need to be cleaned out with hot water uh, beforehand. And also, you need to heat up the kettle itself in order to make sure that the uh, tea leaves don't get shocked when uh, they hit warm water. Now once you've done your cleaning, the first step obviously is uh, the tea itself, the tea leaves, once your kettle is, is hot. And as you can see here, you also get this sort of a bamboo slat in which you have to try and proportion um, your tea and then you use it to pour it into the uh, tea kettle and for that you also use some sort of tweezer the main idea here is that you don't touch the tea leaves uh, with your fingers uh, basically in order to avoid impurities uh, going into the tea and as you can see I'm not the greatest at doing these kinds of things I've been using chopsticks most of my life but apparently here uh, I needed to cheat a little now once the tea leaves are in it's time to pour in the hot water don't worry about the temperature, the staff generally makes sure that it's the correct temperature and the instructions tell you how long you need to wait depending on the type of tea uh, that you ordered. Obviously waiting is no fun, but uh, it is necessary and it gives you time to prepare for the next couple of steps to do. So once the tea has drawn for long enough, you can proceed with the pouring. Now the pouring happens in two steps. The first step is in a secondary pot um, using a bit of a filter in order to ensure that no grind or any impurities are coming along with uh, the tea. Now once the tea is filtered you can proceed with drinking the tea. Now as you can see uh, there are two types of tea cups um, and each has its own purpose. Um, I'll leave it up to you and tell me in the comments what you think the two teacups are specifically for. So yeah, now enjoy the tea. Now as you probably already saw, not only can you enjoy uh, good quality tea at a reasonable price in a very nice setting uh, at the Yao Yue Tea House, you can also get some food obviously, uh, and after all that hiking and that being outside, obviously you probably will need it. In our case we got some sort of a seafood hot pot, which was actually very nice, very reasonable price um, and perfect for a, a day of a physical, uh, let's say, activity. On top of that, we also got uh, a more traditional Taiwanese, uh, let's say, dish, um, which is the one in the bamboo sticks, as you can see here. So if you're in Taipei, we would highly recommend that you visit the Maokong area and visit one of the tea houses. Enjoy the good and quality tea 
the nice food, the very beautiful scenery, and just the general feel that that brings uh, and that the relaxation that it allows you to, to have. Now, as we mentioned earlier, the Malkong area is not only well known for tea, but also for temples, and in specific, the Zinan Temple Complex. It is a complex You're because trying? it's actually a collection well, of different trying, temples, though. which offers stunning nighttime and daytime views of Taipei and the surrounding areas, which we'll see in a bit. Now, the first of the temples is the Lingxiao Temple, which I believe is the closest to the gondola stop, and probably the first one that you will see uh, when you go there. The second one uh, is the Chungyang uh, Temple, which is a little farther away, but none of the temples are actually far away from each other. I think in 5 to 10 minutes uh, you can walk from one to the other, so it's absolutely fine. And as you can see, if you go to the gates of each of these temples, you will get uh, an amazing view um, of Taipei during the day and more so, let's say, during dusk or uh, even during the evening. Now, when you go there, it's not only the daytime and the nighttime view that you should go for. Um, the inside of the temple are also very nicely decorated, very traditional red, golden colors and can actually give a really relaxing feeling. And also, if you're there, uh, you can also take part in some worshipping if uh, you so please. So thank you for watching the video, we hope you enjoyed it, we definitely did, uh, and especially the tea and the views. Um, we'll leave you with a view of Taipei by night from the Chungyang Temple. We hope you have a good time, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next one.